And we're right back into it. Uh, I, this beautiful sunrise. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm getting, I'm pull, being pulled through the engine. Hang on. Oh, God. Okay. We're alive. We're alive. Um, <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? Where I, gosh, it was like a near death experience. Hang on. Uh, what was I going to say before that happened to me? Um, oh, wow, we don't have a ton of this stuff, huh? And that's, like, kind of important. Okay, what will be... Next island we go to, we'll kill Bruce. And we'll go and, you know, do the whole thing. Um, that will be good. Well, no, no, no. I've done it again. Oh, God. Worst case scenario. <laughs> Did not learn my lesson at all, huh? Wow. Uh, oh, actually, we have more than I thought. Because I'm disorganized. But we will have less because I, I need to make a bunch of these. And I know that that requires metal uh, in pretty staggering quantities. Uh, as well as scrap. So we're... Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll get there. Um, if only I had some food. <laughs> um, what I've been, uh, I've been watching uh, a lot of Hive Mind recently. Great YouTube channel, very funny, uh, very funny stuff. And what I was thinking about is that those guys have a great uh, conceit, which is they, they play like games or they like, you know, do like brackets and so they have like sort of a topic on which they can kind of go off on and not always sometimes they come up with like something that's totally unrelated to the game pretty commonly uh but like they have like a a starting point of like you know if they're not not absolutely killing it the on the jokes which they often are uh they have like a, a thing to fall back on and i think that you know a lot of let's players kind of use the game for that so they have they play a a variety of games or games that a bunch of different stuff happens so they can sort of play off of the story or you know create their own narratives or whatever meanwhile i've sort of chosen to play a game in which you know the same like five things happen over and over and over again kind of hamstring myself sort of you know uh not not making my dreams come true i guess is the easiest way to put it but Here's the way I was thinking about it then in an attempt to make myself feel better is I think this is like my training. This is like my 36 chambers, like training arc. I'm Rock Lee with the weighted uh, leg warmers on, you know, I'm this is I when I eventually do go and play a different game, I will be happy for the mental fortitude that bombing horribly, just making jokes that no one, no one at all in the world thinks is, are funny over and over again. And for 365 episodes, I'll, I'll, I'll have put in my hours, I'll put in my time. And then when people are like, how, how can I become like you? I'll be like, you have to make garbage for one full year of your life. Uh, and by of your life, I mean of other people's lives because this is not taking me a full year to make i hope um hard to remember when i first started actually now that i think about it but uh okay jesus please us i forgot how much how much lumber i have to hand it's crazy how does this stuff end up in my not that inventory? I don't understand. I I would build more of these to like increase my production line, but I I struggle just to fill these up. Not like from a like do I have enough stuff kind of way. But from like a literal, like I have to run around and constantly be filling them, 
um, and it takes time to fill them, and I want to do other things. Pick up some more honey. Da -da -da. Can I make more fuel? Probably. It's just glass, right? God, I have a lot of honey actually on hand. I could probably make another of these though, actually. Let me see. Get through some of this honey. Uh, biofuel. Plastic, metal, rope, plank. Okay, pretty easy. Plastic, take some of that. Some rope. Oops, some rope. Like that. Oh, I need planks. And then craft one of these. Oh, boys. Now we can up the up the production to keep up with our honey production, hopefully. I wish I could like auto feed. Let's grab some of these. Auto feed um the fuel into a thing. Although these don't really carry enough fuel for my liking. Uh they don't really fill up like as much as I would have thought they would. Wow. As your boat gets bigger and you get on the edge, you can really just go full underwater pretty easily. Well, it's raining. And there's a bunch of birds that don't give a shit at all. There we go. Make some fuel. Pick up some more stuff. <laughs> Always have more stuff being picked up. Just a non-stop barrage of garbage. Oh! I want to go to there. I was just thinking it would be nice to go to an island. Turn it around. And this is a pretty big one. For like a little one. For a little one, it's a pretty big one. I should just go to every island I see, because I also think there's a um achievement not just for going to different islands and stuff, but for uh what was I gonna say? Um for finding certain secret small islands. And I don't want to miss one of those accidentally and then people in my YouTube comments are like, you idiot, you stupid fucking moron. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't see that. Uh, let's see here. And... S nope, don't reverse, just stop. There we go. And then... Like that. And then... Drop off here. Drop off here. Shit away. I don't care where. And then grab my gear here. Uh, I have a shovel. I have, an, uh, I have arrows to kill the shark with when it comes to it. And then it's really worth digging up these things, I think. Because they give like pretty good shot at like getting a decent amount of metal and also. There we go. Hey, I just got the... Oh, I don't think you can see that. I don't think it popped up because it's not part of the game window. I got Intermediate achieve, uh, Treasure Hunter, and I also just got a self-portrait of someone. Probably a game dev, I'm guessing. We'll put that back on the boat, along with all the other like decor, decor that I have not yet uh, put up anywhere that I will eventually put up somewhere what I'm thinking is I'd like to have like a central like home that I can live in and then like a circular thing around at me of like little like workstations I think that that would be a good visual like I, I would like that that I think would be a nice raft uh, is it the most functional design I don't know Probably not. Where's the shark at? Does he want... 
Does he not care? Maybe he doesn't care today. I'm just picking up everything. That's all useful right at the moment. Uh, metal. Metal's really what I'm after at present. God, I just... Something about, like, this aspect of the game truly just turns my brain off. And I, like, cannot... I can't even begin to be funny. I'm just, like... It, it, this is like what I this is what it's all about for me <laughs> I, I just like mindlessly clicking on things and collecting materials it's like it's the thing you know is this just the other side of the island or is there a little treat in here for me there's a little treat little treat for me Nice, nice, nice. More hinges, good. Good, I always need more hinges. Mm. Need scrap too, tons of scrap. And these shelves are great for the, uh, whatchamacallits the junk machines I have Ooh. yep I'm drowning I know it night's falling let's finish this up before it gets too dark I reckon I guess there's no reason to I just feel like being underwater in the dark can't be safe in real life and so in my brain I'm like can't be safe in video game but I'm also like a very cautious uh, video game player. I'm like one of those people who like, even though I'm like reach a point in like m when I was back when I played Minecraft where it was like, obviously I'm not like really in much danger from the skeletons and zombies anymore. I can just like go out and be, I would still like run back to my house to go to sleep and like build like defensive things. And I, I just didn't want to do combat. I, I liked that there was combat in the game, but I enjoyed it because I like to avoid it. It is fun to me to do the like stratagems and things to like not have to fight, you know, monsters and shit. That's fun for me. Um, which is part of why I probably like just consistently uh, build out my raft immediately to be like, have me not have to fight the shark at all if I can. Uh, and why I like kill the shark before I start looting and. That sort of stuff. I like to get get through it, you know. Wow, I'm getting a lot of stuff from this island here. This is a good one. I know I said I wasn't going to stay out late into the night, but I clearly am. That's something I'm looking forward to. It's the summer now. My work slows down a lot. My partner's about to be, like, off work, and we're going to get to, like, you know, have some, just like hang out late at night, go for walks and stuff. Uh, love the summertime. Love the summer. It's truly like there have been times where I've thought that I should like just move somewhere where it's always hot because I, I feel like I'm always just so much happier during the summertime. Um, like just across the board. Let's just use up the hook fully and then we'll get out of here. Because it seems like that's like high value enough for me. I'm not like dropping boxes anywhere, am I? I don't think so. Got at least a stack of scrap here, probably more. And the rocks and all this stuff is super useful. I wish I could, I mean, I guess you can't, I guess that's what the junk engines are for, is for converting stuff into other stuff, basically. But I wish I could convert more, uh, you know, more stuff into other stuff. I wish I could, like, just pay, like, 20 rocks to get one iron or something. Be high value to me. 
which I guess the like that's like probably close to what the trade off is. Let me look at my inventory. Wow, look at that. It's a great little island. Just had the moment where I thought, am I recording? <laughs> Have I forgotten to record yet again? But no. It's all good. All good. Let's actually dump this stuff here. Get some of this here, get some of this going. Grab some wood, believe it or not, I actually have to pull from the stores. Get upstairs, just let my boat float wherever, I don't really care. Ah, what a soothing, soothing game this is. Some of this stuff I need, some of this stuff I do not. Don't need this, don't need... Actually, I do need that. Don't need clay. Don't need sand, really. Um, well, I say that, I guess I need some amount of sand. For, um... To make glass so that I can make honey. Uh, which is very funny. Next big island, I'm gonna go on a shopping spree. I wonder if I'm near one. No, but that's the thing I was headed towards. Hmm. Just take a second. Enjoy. Enjoy the sound of the ocean. One thing I'm definitely going to do is migrate all this down closer to that. Uh, and maybe that's like a good like first step. Maybe, like, what I should do, my next, like, big project should be, like, I build back from that, from this, and make, like, a new central platform, maybe. Like, a, a nice place where I can just, like, build a house back here or something. That'd be nice. And then, you know, just start building out from around it, and eventually I'll tear this whole thing down into just one other section. Maybe like the steering place, I don't know. But this thing's getting big. I'm, I'm uh, constructing a real behemoth here. Metal and put that back in. Some rope in here. Oh, more honey. Great. Now I think I probably could put this into any of them, but it feels like I should put it into the ones that look empty, even though they're all interconnected. Um, and I imagine they just like overflow into each other. Turtles, beautiful, beautiful creatures. Live can live forever, theoretically, or whatever, right? As long as they don't get caught in my engines. <laughs> no, not the paint maker. <laughs> well, that's the end of another another episode. Um, uh, 
if you liked this one, maybe check out Heather's. It's a pretty good movie from the 80s. It's uh, sort of a weird one. Uh, it's nothing like this, but I watched it last night and it was pretty good. <laughs> All right. Uh, adios. Goodbye.